All right, everybody. This is chlorine drops to test the chlorine in tap water. And this is, you know, and we could test to see if there's any chlorine in the Kangen water. This is the pH drops to test the pH. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, you know, the lower the pH, the more orange and yellow colors it's going to be. Neutral is green, around greenish blue. And Kangen water, which is alkaline water, is going to be purple. So today, it's a really hot day. My wife and I are going to go out. Uh, you know, I filled this up with Kangen water 9.5 and a bunch of ice that was made by Kangen water 9.5. It was really hot today. So we're bringing the Igloo BPA free um, thing with us, and we're going to be drinking water from there because uh, we're not going to be able to bring the Kangen water machine with us to the park, and we're going to go hiking and do all that good stuff. So I just want to start out by showing you tap water. This is normal tap water. When you flip that on and you flip that up, that's when you start producing the Kangen water. But this is just normal tap water. Okay. You can do tap water again. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Okay. And here is the empty cups for the Kangen water. Fill that up. Nice and cold Kangen water. shouldn't be wasting this good water, but yeah, you know, show the demonstration. That's why it's to start off. So here's the Kangen water. Here are the both tap waters. Turn this off. Now I'm going to start off with the chlorine. Check the chlorine. Okay. If it's yellow, it turns. If it's yellow, then it has a lot of chlorine in it. Okay. I'm going to do the Kangen water about four or five drops each. As you can see already immediately, and I don't even need to mix this up, tap water is full of chlorine. I mean, it looks like pee, but it's not. It's just really chlorinated tap water. You know, as you can see, Kangen water has no chlorine in it, okay? Amazing, right? Now we're going to test the pH. I'm gonna show how acidic tap water is, and we're gonna show how alkaline Kangen water is. Here are the pH drops, about three or four drops. I'm going to do the tap water first. Now we live in Oregon, so believe it or not, our, our actual water here in Oregon is a lot better. As you can see, this is, see our tap water is around 7.0, 7.8. So it's gonna be a greenish blue. So that's actually pretty good. Better standards than most places in the United States, okay? But, look at all that chlorine that's still in there. Uh, now I'm gonna show you the Kangen water. Wow. And this is what we drink every day. It's this beautiful, delicious, antioxidant rich, hydrogen rich, delicious Kangen water. Now do you see? Anywhere from 8.5 to 9.5 is the Kangen water. So you can choose to drink Kangen water. You see, no chlorine, pH, no chlorine, or you could drink tap water. I mean, I, I don't, <laughs> I, I, I mean, this is what they're hiding in your water. You can't see it. You need pH and chlorine drops to show you. But, I mean, that is incredibly acidic. And if I was to use my ORP meter... Um, <laughs> we'll save that for the next one. Yeah, we'll see. You'll be able to see how acidic and oxidizing this really is for you. This is both tap water. This one's used with the pH drops. This one with the chlorine. This is Kangen water. This used with... P, uh, pH drops, this with the chlorine, obviously. No chlorine whatsoever, incredibly alkaline. So, that's it.